Welcome to the Space Claim Sheet Metal Training Module, where here I'll show you how we can repair a model that came in, not as a solid body, but a collection of surfaces. Looking at the structure tree, I have 92 surfaces. So whenever you see surfaces in a model and expect to see a solid, always go to the Repair tab and work through these automated tools. I'll first attempt to stitch the model together, and it does appear to be watertight, and I can form a solid. So the next step would be to go to Sheet Metal, and convert it to sheet metal. I hit the convert button, click anywhere in the body. But the problem when I convert is that all the bends are not showing up in purple as they should, and I have a few flanges over here toward the top that are not being identified as sheet metal. So I know there's something else going on in the model. I'm going to go back to the design tab. I'll first undo that because I want to, I want to treat this as a solid. What you'll notice is some of these some of the rounds that didn't get converted aren't in fact rounds, they're actually splines. And the thickness tends to vary across the part. And without knowing that the thickness varies, you can still go through these steps that I'm going to show you. 63 thousandths is the thickness on that edge, but if I go over here where there was a problem, I can see 60 thousandths. So I know there's a varying thickness, and that's a problem for sheet metal. So, first off, to take care of these rounds, one method of turning those splines into a cylinder would be to go to the Repair tab and use the Simplify tool. This takes things like splines and turns them into planes, cones, cylinders, and the like. It identifies, basically identifies every area that it can convert splines into cylinders in this case. I'll click the green checkbox and that will convert everything over uh, to a nice round. The next step would be to recreate this solid body and give it a uniform thickness. So if I double click on any face on the inside or outside of the model, then I've, collected, I've selected every face uh, on that particular side. What I'll do next is copy this to the clipboard, then immediately paste it, and you see a surface body in the structure tree. Let's go ahead and delete the original solid body. I right click on it and say delete. So the next step would be to recreate this surface, the, the solid body from the surface. Going to the Pull tool is my Geometry Creation button. I double click on any face to get the entire surface body. And I want to start pulling just a little bit to tell the system what direction to go in. So I'm going to pull down ever so slightly to get a thickness. And then hit the space bar to pause that motion. Now I can type in any value I want. I'm going to call it 63 thousandths because that was the thickness of the majority of the body. And then I hit the Enter key. So now I have a recreated solid body of uniform thickness. And all of the rounds should, in fact, be rounds and not cylinders. So I think it's a good time to try to convert this back to sheet metal. I go to the Sheet Metal tab and say Convert. Select any face. And now all the rounds, all the bends are showing up in purple and all the tabs show up in gray as well. So now I should be able to flatten this out. Grab any planar face and say unfold, and now I have an unfolded body. So this was just one method I showed you of how to take a model and repair it uh, for the purpose of flattening out the model. Thank you very much for watching.